The braided lords of Celtis surrendered to the Their magna burned alive as they watched. Stripped of magic, the armies of Glaivegate fell. To Sandrak, the bold and terrible tyrant of Rayshard. They called him their ruler, as he was of east and west. And the horns of their ancestors trumpeted blood in protest. Hardcore. Hush. Passage to the sands of Oroman was secure. The Sky Islands, careful. Ever I'm being careful. With winged as careful as last time. Careful, uh. And the That's not a word. As he spoke, declaring the Magni of their order now vanished. Damn. You think Sandrak really talks like that? I'm concentrating. Maybe he bores his enemies to death. I'm concentrating. But. Line. But I am not. The but I am not the man content to simply wonder. I am. I'm wondering every third word. I'm distracted. Go, go, go. No one cares about our say Norman. Pull it off. Sandrak's coming our way. Got it. Let's go. Hey, wait up. Luna! Over here, Jack. One can hope. Did Caleb ever tell you his plans for this caper he's got in mind up in Topside? I think he just likes to say caper. 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 It's a fun word. It feels sneaky. Also, you two stay out of Topside. No one's using the cargo lift. Come on. So I wasn't paying attention. What was the play about? Um, Kalthus surrendered to Sandrak, and then he burnt all their magna. Alive. Well, that's not nice at all. What kind of message does that send? It's pretty rude, if you ask me. That Sandrak really wants you to think he's capital E evil. I doubt he thinks that. You cannot think it and still be it, Luna. Which is kind of... Scarier. The tyrant of Rashad. See? Let's cut through the market. Sure. But let's keep an eye out for the constables. The market seems kind of dead tonight. There's talk of a bunch of airships coming into dock. Some hivers probably think they can make easy money unloading cargo. Maybe that's what we should have done instead of stealing from the hat guy. He was a bust. By any metric, a man with a hat indicates a perfectly respectable mark. That sounds made up. So, when are you gonna tell them? Are you gonna tell them? Maybe. I don't know. Feels late for it now. You made it late. Because I hate goodbyes. Sure. I get that. Oh, 
Uh, What's up? Uh, you're in no hurry to get back. No. You're thinking how much you're going to miss this garbage heap. Please, would you? Don't call my home a garbage heap. I don't want to spend my life living above a bottomless hole in the ground, Jack. We don't technically know if the wound is totally bottomless. All signs point to yes. They'll be okay, Luna. I'll watch over them. We... I've got an idea. Target practice? Why not? It's our civic duty as citizens of the Seren Underbridge. It's janitorial work. Probably would have made more money clearing off these large barnacles than we did at that play. Fair. You're all about duty right now, aren't you? Nice. You'll make a good soldier. I hear they give better uniforms to the lightless that can summon a little magic like this. There's a war, Jack. It's not about the uniform. Or maybe it's better boots. Cheese, Jack. Wait, what? Soldiers get to eat real cheese. Boots are just extra. Huh. Rashan's got no idea what's coming. Make corporal, I can even buy land. The whole farm just full of boots. Look, I know I keep saying I get it, but I don't. Not really. You're the first person I've met that actually wants to fight in the Everwar. No one escapes the draft, Jack. They do all the time. You're not even going to try. Besides, I don't want to fight in the Everwar. I want to fight for Lucium. Exactly the same thing? Just shut up and shoot. They ship you off to fight in the Ever War. Where do you think they'll end up sending you? Who knows? Maybe I have just enough magic not to be considered lightless, and I'll have a say in where they send me. A Magnus gets a say. Probably. No offense, but what we do is kind of like. Pew, pew, pew. A Magnus is like. Pow, bing, brrr. I mean, it's not even a contest. <sighs> yeah, some magic might as well mean no magic, as far as the Magna are concerned. Oh, I can smell Fife's stew from here. Pretty sure the whole neighborhood can. You know, everything he cooks tastes vaguely like uh, regret. <laughs> We're home. Jack! Whoa! No love for the boss? Come here. Are you leaving us? You turn 16 in the morning, and that's when the soldiers fear you into the army because Jack said life is unfair. Or you could ignore the draft like a normal person. Happy birthday. No one tells me anything. How'd you score? <sighs> We're officially the worst street thieves in Saren. Hopefully Caleb redeems us. <sighs> Dug this out the back of Troy's place. I guess we can act like it's cake. Oh, no. You're not eating that. Sure. Probably wise. The stew's almost ready anyway. Grab us some tubers from up top, Jack. Sure thing. Tubers? Let me know when Caleb gets here. I've got something I want to tell you all. Like that you're leaving us. Shut up, you.
What do you put into stew when it's someone's birthday? What? Birthday stew. What goes in it? Yeah, that's not a thing, Fife. Want to try it? I know you two haven't eaten all day. No way in hell am I eating that. More for the rest of us, then. Rude ass. I know you told him. I did not. Well, something's got him all riled. Look, it's not like it was hard to figure out you're leaving. You're packing bags, you're crossing out days on the calendar, you're reading big, fat, official-looking books of... What is it this time? The Officer's Manual of Lights, Arming Regulations. See? No way that gave away the store, right? <sighs> what are you thinking? Would you rather fight a hundred-foot-tall crab or one hundred one-foot-tall crabs? The day may come. Like a Vecchi crab or a crab crab? Does it matter? It's a hundred feet tall. Then fine. The hundred-foot-tall one. <laughs> Why that one? There is glory in that one. <laughs> Idiot. Look, I'm seriously innocent. They just figured it out. Yeah, I know. I just don't want to know that they know. Not yet. I'm sure we'll all act surprised when you finally tell us. I'm gonna. Just, just let me know when Caleb's back. I'll do it all in one big go. Caleb's out late. I approved it. He's a good earner. Something's been really off with him lately. He's just impulsive. He'll grow up. You all will. So what's in that book of yours? Lights Army Regulations, duh. Sure, but like, the worst one. You have to wear a surprising number of reflective belts. <laughs> what? No, I mean it. Maintaining the grounds at the keep? Reflective belt. Directing constructs to clear the roads? Belt. 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 I didn't expect the Everwar to be so safety first. Or so polite. I'm going to have to learn like 20 different salutes depending on Magnus officer ranks and the color of magic they use. Unless it's a foreign dignitary, then it's a weird kind of ancient curtsy. Y you you know... Yeah, probably. All right, see you at dinner. You bet. Jack, just remember to be super supportive of her when she tells everyone at dinner. Happy birthday, Luna. I hit it big tonight. Think fast. Your present, such as it is. What's that in it? Pentasite. No shit, I mean the swirly stuff. Looks like snow. What's snow? I don't know, wintertime shit. They say it's in Calthus all the time. Looks pretty as all. Oh! Caleb! Well, yeah. I'm sorry. Move your hand. Let me see. Constable got a lucky shot. I'll be... Ah! Oh, damn it, Jack! It's not good. Did they follow you? You got yourself hurt over this thing? Careful, Caleb. Your guts are split. Why didn't you... I didn't want to ruin your birthday at all. That's dumb. Jack, come on. We need medicine. I've got an idea. Explain on the way. You guys, watch him. Get the rags and the water, and don't let him sleep. You know how to do this. We'll be quick.
So, what's the plan? I'm still making it up, but I'm pretty sure it's this way. You're making it up? It's gelling. Have faith. Caleb's gonna be all right.